Right now, I can only get blocks of iron. Because in order to make anything else, you need gold or aluminum bronze. Which in this game is much harder to find than gold. In order to cast uh, molds. So we're going to have to do something about that, guys. And, uh... In order to make tools out of metal... You do need those casts. Which means you need gold. But in order to mine gold, you need to pick which can mine hard metal. So, uh, the options that the game gives you, or the pack gives you... For that... Are, um... You can make bronze, which is hard enough to mine gold. Or you can make... Uh, what's the other one? Not make, you can find uroclase in the swamp. Which is also hard enough to mine gold. Um, I'm gonna do neither of those. Because those are both tedious. To make bronze, you have to find, like, copper and tin, which are just obscenely rare in this pack. And to mine oroclays, I end I mean, I always end up strip mining for, like, an hour or two. Just to find enough oroclays to make a pick. And, um... Yeah, it's not fun. It's boring. It's boring, and the oroclays pick is not even, like, fast. It's just, you know, meh. So I'm gonna kind of do this a different way. I'm gonna... I haven't looked through here in a while. Let's see what we have available to us right now. Not very much. Geologist, nothing new yet. Ah, now that we have iron, we can get started on... Um, Craft, but I'm gonna hold off on that just a little bit. Oh, and we get points for finding the Ethereal Blooms. Xenobiologist, anything going on here? No. And the Engineer, I think I need to find Tin and Charge Crystal before I can do anything. So, let's go back here to the Scout, which I skipped before. And the Jungle is our new destination. 674-1523-77. 674-1523-77. We're gonna go on a little field trip. We're gonna sleep first. Come on. I'm definitely not going out there now. Now, oh, this is quite a dangerous little mission that I'm, I'm setting up for myself here. Um, I think I will actually make myself some armor. Iron armor, just to uh, keep me fairly safe. Oop, definitely not now. And this iron's not going to keep me safe, but I mean, at least I won't die really fast. So jungle's that way, and it's going to be another just run like hell situation. And actually, we can teleport to the shrine. It's a bit closer to it. Now, I always get nervous about going to the jungle because you have to go through the jungle, which is full of trees and is difficult to get through, but it is also tainted, so it's full of all these monsters. Um, so I think I'm going to try to go around the jungle so I can go faster, and then in here once it's straight to the west. And get to the teleporter and pick up the ethereal bloom Maybe there's two ethereal blooms that are there. And then we're gonna go into this little village. Now you can go into the village this way, but I know there's a guard on that bridge. And I am not in any condition, not even remotely, to take on a guard. We're gonna sneak in the back here and you'll see why. Hopefully, now that I've updated to the latest version, nothing has changed with regard to uh, this place, but... 
direction am I headed in here? Swamp jungle. Let's go. As always, keeping an eye on the mini-map to watch for any enemies that I don't happen to see. There's quite a lot of them out here. You can only run for so long. The game stops you from running. It can always happen at the most inopportune moments. cobwebs on it, which means, I think that means it has a treasure chest under it, isn't it? Um. Gosh. Oh, look at those goodies. Alright, no time to look through them now, though. I'm holding my, um, hacks here. Because it does more damage than the- oh, Jesus, look at all these animals does more damage than the pickaxe. I don't have a weapon yet. Alright. Oh boy. I am kind of scared, guys. Also gonna get some cocoa beans. Alright, getting through the jungle is always pain. And I know there's animals all over the place. Oh, Jesus. Um, there's a pig up here by the shrine. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Another one following me. Up over here. I am quite afraid of dying at this point. <gasps> oh no! I'm being hunted! I'm being hunted! Help! I'm gonna go home. Quickly! <sighs> Holy crap! Um, okay. That didn't go super well. Apparently I passed too close to that bridge and the guard or hunter, whoever it was, or maybe there was another one in the, in the jungle somewhere, saw me and is now um, looking for me and hunting me down and that's bad. I definitely cannot beat him. He would kill me pretty quickly. Um, I think what I'm gonna end up having to do is go back there and run to the south. Uh, come here to where there's another uh, teleporter and another tree. And then teleport back. And then he won't be there. Ugh. Man, that sucks, you guys. That actually sucks pretty hard. Um... I know we've been going for a little while. It's kind of hard to judge... how long, since I know I'm gonna speed up a little bit of it. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to, uh... to deal with this. I got some redstone, mundane power catalyst. Hmm. A couple of thalamium ingots, that's pretty cool. I don't usually have those yet. I got a rock pork chop. Well, a few useful things there. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and try to deal with this. If the episode ends up being way too long, then I'll just split it into two. So. Oh, guys, I'm, like, really scared. <laughs> I, uh, you know, be honest with you, I do not normally play games with a lot of fighting in them. I do not normally even play Minecraft with the monsters turned on. I usually play on Peaceful. I usually play with my mom. You see in the other videos, Minecraft with mom. We turn the monsters off. Neither one of us has any interest in fighting beasties. 
and I just get so freaking scared. I know it's just a video game. I know this this image of me you're looking at right now on my shiny iron armor isn't even real, but it's just terrifying. So, yeah. Just a little a little direct honesty for you. Um. So, we're gonna go to the jungle. We're gonna run to the south and try to get that guy away from the teleporter. And try to get to... Oh, good. Ah, to the savannah. Which is where I am. Yeah, okay. So 696... 1692, 73, 696, 1692, 73, Savannah, and that will give me a target to run towards. <sighs> Alright guys, if I die, I die. It's just a video game. It's just a video game, you guys. Let's go. He's still there. Oh my god, how am I gonna get through here? Is he following me? Oh my god. Oh, he is following me. Slowly. So he must be like a hunter, right? I think they... Or is he going back to his post? Maybe he is. Maybe he's just going back... He's following me and he just can't find a more direct route. Alright, well. Oops. Tentacle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Not too scared of the tentacle guys. Okay. There's the savannah target there. A nice big tree. huge city over here, and we are not even going to go near that city. Oh dear. Preemptive taking taking out the piggy. Yeah. Oh no! Why is he running away from me? They don't usually run, these guys. <sighs> Alright, well, we made it here. Not going near the town. We'll just go in here. Hmm. Bit of flux in here. There we go. Don't want any flux. All right. Well, that actually wasn't too bad. We got our mystical brown flowers here as well. Now the question is, is that guy actually tracking me over here? Or if I go back to the jungle, am I going to be safe? And I think the only way to find that out is to try. Oh, sure, relief. And once again, pretty scared. You can see up there, that's the kind of guy that I was running from. They are... A lot stronger than me right now. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see. Well, he was he was heading after me. Alright, now this is the really scary part. Because I'm going far away from the teleporters now. Where is it? I just need to sneak into the town. I'm just after one specific thing. And I have to make sure. 
sure that guard you can see in the minimap doesn't see me. Oh shit, he's gonna see me, isn't he? Right in the center. Wasn't there the last time I played. Um, gonna have to run in and out. Run, run, run. He didn't see me! Oh, thank god. I gotta keep an eye on the minimap and watch for the guy, the hunter that was over here. Pig on my tail. <sighs> Alright, guys, I think I'm in the clear. And one more thing that I wanna do is grab a couple pieces of jungle wood so that I can grow more cocoa beans. And then I want to get out of here before any of the jungle starts to decay. Boom! Did it! Success, friends! That was super successful. Totally did that. Whew! Oh my god. I was so scared, you guys. I was so scared. Alright, most of this stuff we're just gonna toss in here. Look at it later. Oh yeah, that's the jungle wood. Jungle wood for the cocoa beans. I'm gonna put that near the middle here where um, I can be sure that the taint will never get to it. Okay. Alright. Business now. So, uh, I need some cobblestone. As you can see, we got four gold ingots. It's not a lot of gold, but it is enough gold to make one iron tool. Actually, it's enough to make two different parts. I'm gonna save two of the pieces. Um, but we have to get all the iron out first. Iron will mix with gold, and we do not have gold to spare right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. I need to have nine iron left in there so I can make a block to get all of it out. Oops. <laughs> I made to do that. Let's do. Running low on um, lava already. I can always go and get some more if I need to, though. That's not a big deal. enough. Well, if not, I'll just go and... Actually, it's not going to be enough, is it? Because I also am going to need to melt more iron. So let's quickly... Weapon in hand. Jump over to the swamp. I'm paranoid now, guys. I'm just shaky and paranoid. Some hunter is just gonna appear out of nowhere, come after me. There we go. That'll keep it going for a while now. It'll be a lot easier once we find uh, copper. Because we only need one piece of copper to make a tank. And a tank can hold lots and lots of lava. Boom. Boom. And... Boom. Okay. Plenty of lava now. Oops. 
And we've got two ingots of gold. We've got a pickaxe head on the casting table. Boom. That's trash now. I think it only takes one ingot. To make a pickaxe head. I hope it only takes one ingot, because if it takes two, I'm gonna have to wait again. <laughs> I don't suppose you guys won't have to wait, because... You know... I will kindly fast forward through the tedious waiting bits. Dun 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 dun! I've got an iron pickaxe head, guys. You know what I'm gonna do with this iron pickaxe head? I now have plenty of iron, and there's not gonna be a shortage of iron again. Can be pretty sure of that. So I'm gonna take Tink, and I'm gonna give Tink a new head. Boom. Look at that mining level. Hard metal. This pickaxe is now capable of mining hard metals, including Hilariously, gold, which is actually one of the softest metals. Just to show you what it can do, just come right on down here. Aluminum. Boom. We've got aluminum. Aluminum get, friends. Aluminum get. Now, aluminum is actually not very useful right now. We need copper, but still. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's go back home, and then we will definitely wrap up this episode. It's been a bit longer than uh, I had planned on. Did not expect to be hunted down in the forest. But it's alright, because we did it! We get the pick! We get the hard metal mine and pick! And next time, we can use this pick to make some serious progress. And I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much to everyone for joining me today. As always, if you have uh, thoughts, comments, suggestions, criticisms, you want to point out something stupid I did, and if I did something stupid, please tell me. Please tell me immediately. Alright, that's how I learn. And, um, leave a comment. Drop me a like. Subscribe if you have not. And if you are just raging at how horrible this all is, just hit the dislike button. Do it. Just do it. You want to do it. It'll make you feel better. You want to. Click it. But, after you click it, please do leave me a comment and tell me why you hate me so much. So that we can be friends. And I can fix all the problems that we have. We're going to work it out, guys. We're going to work it out. So, until next time, you guys take care. Happy Blight Falling. Bye-bye. <laughs>